Okay guys, we are gonna be working on what I call scribble art. I know you gotta be careful because I don't want you to think scribbling, we're just gonna, you know, just mess the whole paper up with a bunch of markers. So, um, I do have a little bit of thicker paper. Um, it's exactly what I use in the classroom. It is on my Amazon list. I've just ripped it in half because it's, um, I don't need it that big. So, it doesn't matter if your paper is vertical or horizontal. If you are doing this, you do not want to use a Crayola marker because you will need to use watercolor. Well, you don't have to, but you, um, to make the colors pop up. So if you don't have a marker, like a Sharpie, then, um, an oil pastel or crown would work the best because watercolors and crowns are resistant against each other and they won't, um, bleed. They'll just, the crown will stay its lines. Um, or pencil if you have none of that. So pencil will still work. I'm gonna choose, you know what? I am gonna choose the black crown. So what your goal is, is you're gonna make a line that doesn't move and the line's gonna kind of cross into its path, creating shapes within it. So I'm just gonna start and I'm just gonna curly cue around. I'm gonna stop there for a second. And you can see that some of the lines have created shapes. Now. Also, when I cross into other lines, it's going to make shapes. So you don't want, and you can see I can divide shapes to make smaller ones, but you don't want to make these lines too close. You do want to see um, some shapes, but you don't want to make them too small because you're gonna have to color in every section a different color so I feel like that's enough lines I've got um, like if you see a sh like this shape right here is kind of big so you want to divide it off make another line that's up to you okay so when you feel like you've got enough lines you're gonna add the color to it now your goal is to use as many colors possible and every area is gonna be a new color so like this would be a new color this would be a new color this would be a new color this would be a new color. Now, if I used red over here, I don't wanna use red here. Now, I can use red way over here because it's not close to each other, but your goal is to spread out the colors if you use it more than once, if you don't have a lot of colors, but you don't wanna use the same color next to it. So, I'm gonna be using a watercolor set. This is one that is also, um, I'm not sure if it's linked on my Amazon, but it's a Koi watercolor set. Um, I think this one is like $30, so it's not huge um, expense, and it does have quite a bit of colors and even a place to put your um, paintbrush, so a little mixing tray. Um, but that's what I'm going to be using, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Again, pick a color, and if you choose to use that same color, just make sure you use that same color somewhere not close to it. I mean, I know my watercolor palette has quite a bit of colors, so my goal is to not use um, the same color twice. And the, like I said, the cool thing about the watercolor and the crayon is they don't, um, it doesn't bleed the line. They stay as is, and it kind of helps corral the color to stay within that area because if I go over it, it, it like literally doesn't look like I've done any of it, like gone over it, it just stays as is. section um, with a different color. I did have to draw a line right here because I realized this yellow was gonna end up going next to that yellow. Um, I feel like there's a lot of yellows I had to paint with, um, but again, I tried my best to stay, I did a little mess up there, um, using a different color in each line. So I think it turned out pretty well. So I'd love to see your scribble art. Remember to post them on our Instagram or Hillcrest Facebook. I will post the link, the um, tags up here. 
and I hope you enjoyed making some scribble art with Miss Lawson.